Are you at home trying to avoid global pandemics, getting killed by random earthquakes, and wishing you could do something both fun and educational? Well, we here at the Vote Music Learning Company have a project for you. Now offering Line Writer Assignments. Create a fun line writer course that lines up with music of your choice. Upload it to Google Classroom and watch your musical experience points max out through the roof. For seven easy payments of zero dollars, you can have all of the satisfaction knowing that you are not letting your brain become jelly as you sit around playing other video games. This video game will make you smarter and best of all, it's fun! Continue watching for a tutorial on how you can become the next master of line writer. Neither the Vote Music Learning Company nor its affiliates claim that you will become a master of anything. Limit one per student unless otherwise decided by the student or herself. No purchase necessary. Please remember to wash your hands, avoid touching your face, and staying in to avoid spread of any world-ending viruses. As far as random earthquakes go, we have no idea what to do to help you there. You are on your own. Good luck. Okay, to make this line writer track, you will first go to linewriter.com. Don't push load track unless you're loading something that you've already saved. So just the first time you come, ignore this. You're going to go to play. And here is where you can draw your course. Now, to make this sync up with music, what you need to do is get an MP3 and upload it into the line writer. So you should just use an MP3 that you already own. If you don't have any access to MP3s, what you could do is download one from uh, YouTube. I'm going to download the Stranger Things theme song. I usually go to this one, YouTube Downloader, Y2Mate. And you just copy the URL up here, the YouTube video. You go back into here and paste it. And then where it says uh, MP3, you click on MP3, and then you just press download. It's going to prepare this so you can download it. Then you push download MP3, and it's going to download to your computer. I have it downloaded to my desktop. Now we're going to go into Line Writer, and then over here where the settings are, this little gear, you're going to push this, and then you're going to do load audio which is right here. Click load audio, and then you're gonna pick where we got it from. This is it, Stranger Things. So you press open, and now it should be synced up. So when I press play down here, it just starts. Sometimes you have to tell it to start at a different time. So let's say there's 10 seconds of silence at the beginning of your recording. What you do down here, we're still in the settings. Down here, um, you can change the start time. So if you want it to start 10 seconds in, you would do negative 10 and then press enter and then it would start 10 seconds into the recording you have. So you can edit where you want it to be. Now we are ready to start making our line writer track. And the point of this is to sync up what the line writer is doing with the music. You're gonna to try to make it sync up like what you would do with a music map or something. So the track looks like what the music sounds like to you. So you might have to listen to the music a bunch to really get to know what the music sounds like. And that's kind of the point. Up here you have these tools that you can use. So this one, this pencil, you can simply draw what you want. Okay, and when you press play, you can see what happens. Yay! Now he falls off. Erase or edit undo by doing Command Z if you're on a Mac. I'm guessing it's Control Z on a Windows or a Google Chromebook. The other way that you can delete is, let's say you made this and you're like, ew, I don't like that. So you can press this little eraser and you can erase sections of this line. It's hard to do the entire line, it takes forever. So to do an entire thing, say you have this big thing, you wanna get rid of all of it. You can press this selector and just make a box around it, let go, and then just press delete or backspace on your keyboard. It'll get rid of it. This will make straight lines when you click on the pencil and then over here to this little paintbrush, it'll make this line that kind of trails behind so you can make smoother lines. When you click the selection tool, you can move it around and then this magnifying glass, you select it and then you click and then drag up to zoom in, out to zoom out. You can either try to keep them on the sled or if he falls off, you can just keep him sliding. So the colors will do different things. Blue, he'll just slow down. Red, if you draw a red line, he will speed up. So it'll shoot him forward. If you go from left to right, it'll draw with the color at the bottom. Do you see that there's red on the bottom? If I go from right to left, the red will be on top. He will go through it if there's red on top. He will land on it if the black is on top. 
green. As far as I know, he just goes through all green. So if you want to save your project so that you can come back and work on it later, what you do is you go over here to the disk where it says save, and then you just give it a name. If you save without having save to file selected, it'll save just to the browser. If you want to save it to the computer or to Google Drive, which is what I would do, select save to file and then press save. Now to use that, what you do is when you go back to linewriter.com at the beginning, the line writer here, you press load track and then you load from file or if you have a save track on the browser, you'd select it here or you go to load from file and then you choose where you put it. I have it on my desktop right here, a name. You're going to have to load your audio again. So when you save it, it does not keep the audio. When you are ready to export the video, you would go right here where it says video export. And then you can say where you want it to begin and the resolution, press render, and it's going to render it. Once it's done rendering, you press save, and it's going to save that as .webm file. And then you can watch it through a browser. And that's it. I hope you've had a great time making a track for your line writer synced up with music. Keep an eye out for more videos I'm going to be posting soon, and I'll catch you on the flippity flip.